And we'll be starting with the recent past. So in, in your recent past, we have the Six of Pentacles. So if you were already in a committed relationship with the Six of Pentacles, it points to a very happy time, generous, fair, and balanced time for relationships for at least a while, okay? And you... For, well, for, it could have been for a while or, or a long time. Okay, so if you were unattached but looking, when this card shows up, you were likely to meet someone new who was positive, kind, and generous. This may have come about via an introduction from someone you know uh, you also made sure you let people know that you were looking for a partner. And that card is paired with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, with the Knight of Pentacles, this card points to responsibility and also duty that is a part of any love relationship. You now you also know that love is not all wine and roses. True love is a willingness to work together to get through to get through any rough spots and to work on relationships. How well are you how well were you meeting your responsibilities back then? If you were looking for love when you drew when you drew when when this card appeared if you were looking for love and since this card has appeared it's a clear signal that you probably needed to vary your routine and try new things if you wanted to meet someone your usual and normal search, it left little to be desired. And that was in your recent past. Now we move on to the present at the top, which is the Nine of Cups. Now this is a very, very positive card to get when you are asking about love. If you are single, this card often indicates that someone is about to sweep you off your feet. If you are in a relationship, this card indicates final commitments and marriage. At least in the context of love, this card means positive messages, things that would things that you would more than likely love to hear. So be open to exploration of your feelings. And this card is also paired with the Page of Swords. Now, with the Page of Swords, it points to mild conflict. Okay, so know when to push and when to push back off. Many fights and discussions are not actually worth having as long as your partner is treating you with respect. Allow your partner to have his or her space. This is a crucial time for happiness if you're unattached. Get out and mingle. Love doesn't drop out of the sky itself. Okay, so that's with your present. Okay, and we'll move on to the challenge. Okay, now the challenge would be that you may literally be about to be swept off your... Nope. I'm reading the wrong card. The challenge would be with the Knight of Swords. No, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, the Knight of Swords is the, the bottom two cards. And actually, I was correct. I'm reading the cards correct. You may literally be about to be swept off your feet, whether you are male or female. 
So sorry about that. Uh, once again, I am I am looking at the cards correctly, and I am reading the Knight of Swords. Okay. So if you are and and once again, this is the challenge for love. So it. Okay, so here we go. It may be about to be brightened up quite a bit and become a whole lot deeper and more satisfied if you're currently in a committed relationship. So let's see, if you're looking for love, it may come along when you least expect it, but, ha but you have to be having some sort of contact with other people for the door to be open to do this. So get dressed up and go out on the town and you'll have a blast. Okay, now the Nine of Swords is paired with the looks like it's paired with the Eight of Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Swords, in terms of love, uh, this can mean that you are ready to start something new. And if you're currently in a committed relationship, it can indicate that there's something about this relationship that you will choose to put to a stop. Don't hesitate to speak your mind. If something in the relationship is hurtful or bad for you, you lose your partner because you say so, you haven't really lost. Just remember that. You, you Just remember that you haven't really lost. You are being guided towards a relationship that's much better for you. So go ahead and speak your mind and tell the truth, Capricorns. So next we move on to the we're gonna move on to the outcome. And they are the cards to the right. Okay, and it starts with the five of swords. Okay, so with the five of swords, unfortunately unfortunately when the five of swords appears, conflict is near for certain. Okay, conflict is very near. Things may not work out as you would hope with a love relationship, but think calmly and carefully about what your deal breakers are in a relationship. Be honest with yourself first, then be honest with your loved ones. Accept the reality. Okay, and then the card is paired with the Five of Cups. Now with the Five of Cups, in a love relationship, you are in... In a love relationship, you may have just ended or maybe about to start the process of ending a love relationship. You, you What you need to do is realize that all is not lost you're probably not ready yet to move on to a new relationship. Give yourself some time and space, then get back out there. There will come a day when you realize that the reason this relationship ended was to get you to a place where you really need and want to be. Okay, so which, which is a place where a relationship that really works for you and works well. And that's going to be your outcome. Okay, Capricorn, I hope it's a great month for you. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.